A fatty acid is a molecule which possesses a carboxylic acid group, which is reactive, and a long hydrocarbon chain made up of hydrogens and carbons, which is inert and not very reactive. A saturated fatty acid occurs when there are only single bonds connecting the carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon chain, and thus all possible bonds with hydrogens are made. The hydrocarbon is saturated with hydrogen, having as many as it can possibly fit. An unsaturated fatty acid occurs when there are double bonds connecting carbon atoms. Now as carbon atoms share more and more electrons with each other, there are fewer to form bonds with hydrogen atoms. Thus unsaturated fatty acids are not saturated with hydrogen. They do not have the maximum possible amount. A triglyceride is formed when glycerol, which is a three carbon molecule, forms three bonds with three different fatty acids. So dehydration reactions remove an OH and an H from the reacting molecules. So the three water molecules are removed. And thus the three fatty acids are joined to the three carbons of glycerol forming a triglyceride. If a triglyceride is made of saturated fatty acids, then it will be solid at room temperature and therefore a fat. When there are unsaturated fatty acids, especially when there are polyunsaturated fatty acids which have multiple double bonds, then the triglyceride which forms is likely to be liquid at room temperature and therefore an oil. Because of the straight chains of saturated fatty acids in a fat, these molecules are easy to pack together and therefore form a solid. The kinks in the hydrocarbon chains formed by the double bonds in unsaturated fatty acids make it more difficult to pack them together, therefore they are more likely to be liquid at room temperature and oils. Steroids are defined by a certain ring structure of the carbon atoms which form them. Cholesterol is the most common steroid in the world, being known in all organisms. Cholesterol is the basis for other steroids such as estrogen, like estradiol, uh, testosterone, and cortisone. Cholesterol is simply changed where some side groups are removed, others are added in order to create these derivatives of cholesterol, these other steroids.